Hey, bada bada, hey! Welcome to 60 SPF. Photography classes presented in 60 seconds every Monday. <laughs> They're laughing in the background, the boys at Live City Montreal, the amazing videography company that produces this show. I'm your host, Nicholas Belva, professional photographer, but not a professional athlete. Today we'll be discussing sports photography. The particularity of sports photography is its fast pace. Generally, you want to freeze the action to create amazing images, and this requires a high shutter speed. As a rule of thumb, anything over 1 400th of a second will yield a sharp image. Since you need a high shutter speed, you also need a lot of light. Shooting in the sun is the easiest way to go about it, but if you're shooting indoor sports, you'll need a wide aperture or push up your ISO to compensate the exposure. The second thing to keep in mind is the focal length. As most sports generally involve a lot of action, it's important to stay clear of the athletes such that no one gets injured. Using a long focal length, 70, 85, 200, or 400 millimeter, will let you get in tighter to the action while being a safe distance away. Lastly, sports photographers tend to use the burst drive mode to capture several images consecutively. Using this mode betters your chance of catching the action at the perfect moment. Higher end DSLRs can shoot up to 16 frames per second, not 60 seconds per frame yet. That was 60 seconds, thanks so much for tuning in. Next week, we'll be exploring a theme I really like, wedding photography. Until then, have a great week and see you next Monday.